I'm not separate from the Father. You and I are not separate from God. We are one with Him. And together the body we are one. Hallelujah. So that means that whatever belongs to the Father belongs to Jesus. That means everything that the Father has, it belongs to Jesus. But how many of you know we can accept that? We can thank God for that because it's easy for us to believe that. But also, whatever belongs to the Father belongs to Jesus also belongs to us. Fear not, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure. Good pleasure. What? To give you the kingdom. To give you authority. To give you rule, reign on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it's my father's good pleasure to give me the kingdom. He takes pleasure in giving me the kingdom. So I want to keep him happy. I receive the kingdom. Thank you, Father. I keep him happy. It's a good pleasure. I got to hurry. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done where? In earth as it is in heavenly. What thy will be done in earth simply means what? Let the entire culture, society of heaven come to earth. The way we operate, the way we live, the way we speak, the way we act. He says, he says let this kingdom rule. Let this culture rule. Let this reign of his beliefs of his principles of his authority come on earth as it is in heaven it makes it so great he tells us don't even worry about what you're going to eat what you're going to drink what you're going to wear and what you're going to put on learn how to invest don't just eat your seed don't get just put it on stuff that's going to depreciate all the time get the seed and put it in the kingdom because there's, 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 there's no bank in the world that can give you the, the interest and dividend back on your giving. I mean, 30-fold, 60 times, 100-fold, 1,000 times. My God. Tide, give, sow your seed. Then he says, what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things... Shelby, what? Yes. You didn't even have to work for it. They added to you. Because you're in Christ. Because we're in Christ. The church is the ongoing incarnation of Christ in the earth. Boy, let me, lend, let me close with this. Because this is so critical. In John 10, 30, Jesus said, Jesus said, I and my father are one. I and my father are one, not two, not three, are one. Jesus knew his, his oneship with the father and his sonship with the father. You must have knowledge of your oneship with God and your sonship position. Glory to God. I am one with the father. I'm not separate from the father. You and I are not separate from God. We are one with him. And together the body will one. Hallelujah. So that means that whatever belongs to the Father belongs to Jesus. That means everything that the Father has, it belongs to Jesus. But how many of you know we can accept that? We can thank God for that because it's easy for us to believe that. But also, whatever belongs to the Father belongs to Jesus also belongs to us. How did that happen? Well, when you got born again, you got born again by the word of God, by the spirit of, of truth, spirit of truth. Now, you got to keep in mind, keep in mind, go to James chapter 1, verse 18, real quickly. James chapter 1, 18, watch this, of his own will, say of his own will, God will now, of his own will, beget he us. With the word of what? Truth. That we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. 
You know what first fruits? It speaks of top class, the best. The top most, the best, the highest. And the first fruit of his creatures, that is not talking about after Adam and Eve in the garden, when he created Adam and Eve in the garden, and, and we didn't come out of Adam and Eve in this first fruit. We had to come into the area of Christ. After Christ, we are the first fruit of his creatures. You say, well, how does that happen? Because when Jesus went to the cross, he died for our sins and sickness and disease, but he was buried, and when he was buried, he was raised from the dead. He was born again. Yeah. Acts 13, 33. Acts 13, 33. God, God had fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he had raised up Jesus again. As it also written in the second psalm, thou art my son, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Glory to God. When he came out of the grave, he raised him from the dead. Jesus was born again. Now watch this. We were born by the word of truth. First one Peter 1 Peter 1.23. Here we go. Being born again. Not a corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. How? By the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, I, my Father, one. Everything that Jesus, everything that Father has belongs to Jesus. Everything that Jesus had belongs to us. Because now we are born of his spirit. And the Bible said in Corinthians chapter 6, it says, He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. How many are joined to the Lord? Amen. So if you join to him, you have what he has. Everything that Jesus has, you have it. Everything he has authority over, you have it. You got authority over everything that he had authority over. But you got to come into the knowledge of it. Come on, knowledge of it. Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the what? Knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Now, we've been impacting knowledge. Showing you what, what's happening in the world. What's happening in the church. What's, what's happening here. In the believer's life, verse 3, according as his divine power had given to us all things that pertains to what? Life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. How do you receive this? How do you get it activated? Through, through knowledge and proclamation. Once you get the knowledge of it, you open your mouth and you begin to declare it. You begin to declare who you are in him. You declare who he is in you. You declare the word of God. He sent his word and healed us and delivered us from all destruction. I shall live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord our God. See, God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state.